one. Hey, it's Bruce Chavo. I'm the Graduate Business Association Communications and Technology Chair. And with us today, we have Tom Shar to my right and Eric Dillon, who are co-presidents for the Graduate Marketing Network, known as a club or organization. It is a registered school organization. Terrific. So why don't we get started with you, Eric, and you tell us a little bit about GMN. Certainly. Um, really what GMN likes to do is, uh, is plan different types of events and engage the campus community to um, really bridge together the three centers that are focused on marketing, which include the Brand and Product Management Center, Marketing Research, um, as well as Supply Chain Management. So we tend to focus on the, uh, the, you know, those centers and the first and second year uh, students in those centers. Uh, and plan events that really um, offer kind of cross-functional books at uh, what the three specializations offer. Is there anything that you want to add to that, Tom? Yeah, absolutely. I think in, in addition to that, uh, what we like to do is grow the exposure to that students have to marketing principles on campus. Uh, but additionally, we like to be able to prepare people for careers in marketing through uh, some of our events and activities. Now, I know that both of you guys ran as co-presidents, so how did you come about with the idea, or how did that conversation come about? I'll, I'll start up. Uh, I think Tom and I, um, you know, actually served on the same team during our first semester, so we uh, got to know each other then. But really thought we could, as representatives of the of the marketing research uh, on my end and brand from Tom's side, be able to really um, be able to design events and and you know provide value for the campus that um, or for the graduate school in general that really leverage both of those skills and then obviously drawing from uh, representatives of the supply chain group as well. Um, I guess that's, there's not that much more to the story. Um, I know that you guys have been involved in evaluating some ads with the Oscars on the Super Bowl recently. How has that conversation come forward and what feedback have you been getting from your club members about those experiences? Yeah, uh, one of the events that, uh, that, that we've tried to hold are uh, tweet chats for, for both the Oscar ad review and then, um, as you mentioned, and then the Super Bowl as well. Um, and we think that uh, that's a good way to kind of give people some, uh, some exposure to, to some new mediums of communication and how companies work with, with consumers. Uh, it's also allowed us to, to kind of provide a framework to, uh, to kind of evaluate some of these expenditures that, that companies are, are, uh, are undergoing. And uh, I think in general, it's um, just been kind of a new way for, for us to, to interact with social media. I think it gives the students as well an opportunity to understand in a more practical sense the types of things we're learning in the classroom setting uh, and apply those to real world settings like the Super Bowl, like the Oscars, and be able to you know, view that through that lens with not only our professor participating but um, other classmates as well to kind of weigh in and evaluate these things um, through, that, through that kind of lens, through the um, frameworks we're learning in class. Now I know that one of your key events is the Graduate Marketing Network case competition um, that takes place every year. Any insight or what we might be expecting to look forward to next year? Well, we know it's always uh, an exciting event. Um, the, the event lasts about 24 hours and people prepare, um, you know, kind of all get the case at the same time, um, prepare, you know, overnight and then present the next morning. Uh, we are planning to um, increase the, the, I guess, the breadth of the panel of judges um, to make sure that we still have a, a, a great group of judges coming from all different kinds of disciplines to kind of evaluate and coach um, some of the teams and there's also been discussion of, of possibly opening this up to um, include other members um, outside of those three core centers that we talked about to maybe uh, increase that cross-functionality even a little bit more. So those are a couple things that we're considering um, for next year. I'm not sure if I'm forgetting anything. Yeah, yeah that's it. I think that um, really the, the key goal is to, to, increase expand, or to increase participation in the event. And uh, I think by, by adding maybe more of a finance or operations component, that's something that we could achieve. Now, for anyone that's watching this, whether it's a prospective student or an uh, interested member, what's the best way to connect with your club? I'd well, say through email. Uh, yeah, through, through, through email. Uh, we're also in the process of updating our website, uh, so we'll have contact information posted there. And I believe that uh, also through the social networking channels that GBA has set up, there's probably links as well to uh, nice call different area. GMN uh, portals. So. Okay, well, um, thanks guys for coming in. And Absolutely. Thanks for, again, tuning in for GBA chat, and once again, thanks.